Hi, this is uh, Alan Phillips from Caroline Custom Amplifiers. I'm going to do a short video demo of the new bias monitoring system that's a uh, standard feature of the upcoming Takana 3 model. The, uh, the system consists of a bias adjusting port, which you use a flat bladed screwdriver similar to what I'm using here, and three LEDs. The low red LED means that the bias is, is low, operating too low. The green means it's correct and the upper one means it's running too hot. Uh, so basically rather than just monitoring the cathode current it actually the system is actually microcontroller based and it monitors the plate voltage and the cathode current and also compensates for the uh, screen dissipation too. The, the actual the point that it's measuring and the point it's controlling and lighting the LEDs from is actually the the idle dissipation power, not the cathode current. So all every 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 parameter is taken into account in order to give you the indication here. What this allows is if you run if you run into a club that has slightly lower or higher voltage than where you've run the amplifier before. When you turn the amplifier on and it's warmed up, you may see that it, it's it's now registering green and red together, or red on its own, either either direction. That means that the the wall voltage is obviously different. And to adjust for that, to get it back to the optimal point, all you do is make a minor tweak to it. What I'm uh, going to show now is how to do basically a retube on it. So you start with the amplifier obviously turned off, and you back the bias adjuster all the way off then install power tubes this actual amplifier I'm using now is a shop amp uh, it's actually 6L6 amp but it's got the circuit of the Takana 3 in it uh, but I just it was just a shop amp that was around it was an, it's an older OD2 model that's been converted so I, I've left it with 6L6's for now so I will turn the power on and you'll see all three LEDs will light up, then go off, and then the bottom one will light, showing that obviously the, what it's reading now is very low because we have the standby off. So we'll turn the standby on and we'll leave it a minute or so. And the tubes give the tubes a chance to, to warm up. The actual process of biasing really, it takes about five minutes to set your initial bias and then you should really leave it running for 10 minutes then come back to it and make a minor adjustment i'm kind of going to rush it through a little bit now so if i if i turn this in a clockwise direction i'm now increasing it and you'll see that the the green leds turned on along with the red one it means we're quite close it's still a little bit low though so i'll bring it up and then the green leds lit on its own that means the bias is uh, it's within range. There's a reasonable range where the green is actual on uh, to allow for people to to bias a little bit cooler, a little bit hotter. Now I took it a little bit, a little bit past into where it's starting to run a little bit warmer now. So I'll bring it back down again, and we can go further down, and you'll see that the, the bottom LED lights. Bring it back up, and the green LED lights, and now the amplifier is biased ready to go so if you plug into another another wall socket and after five minutes you see that the maybe it looks something like that all you do you get your flat blade screwdriver turn it clockwise or anti clockwise and have it so the green LEDs lit that's it so this is a feature available only on the Takana 3 model it's not available on any of the other models just yet uh, it's not going to be available as an upgrade for, for quite a while. We're just going to run it with the Takana 3 model for now because there's a lot of internal differences uh, with, with, the, with the circuit boards that are used in the Takana 3 compared with the older models. And I'd rather have a, a nice easy path for people to upgrade when we're ready to do that. But for now, it's a fully functioning system on the Takana 3. Thank you very much for listening. Bye bye.